Welcome to 3Mac. Do you want to learn about computational design, advanced manufacturing, materials modeling, or integrity assessment? Then this is the channel for you. I regularly upload new content, so please hit the subscribe button below for regular updates. Welcome everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to mesh a part around the crack tip. And there was a request from a subscriber that if I can show step-by-step step process to mesh around the crack tip so that it gives us more uh, accurate estimates of J integrals or contour integrals in Abacus CAE. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to create a part as shown here, a crack with, in the, with the help of a partition. And then we will try to focus on this area around the crack tip to create circular mesh as shown here. So I, let's go, let's jump into the details of this in Abacus CAE. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe. And uh, this is just to show how to mesh a 2D part around the crack tip. There was some request from our subscribers, so that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. So first thing is I will just create a 2D component which is defined over one shell. Let's just make any any component right now. I'm just gonna make it like that. It is around that. Then I will create kind of a crack here and then I will try to create a mesh for it. To create the crack, I will just use this option which is partition face with a sketch. So I'll just click on this, it will take me to this partitioning face. And then I can draw a simple line here. So let's do something like here to here. And I hope this will do the trick. So now we have a crack again, it's not symmetric, but the idea is to show you how to mesh this kind of component. Okay, now if I go to the mesh, I'm not gonna do anything else, I'm just gonna go to the mesh. Let's say 4.5, which is the seat size. And if I mesh it again, then you will see it's much fine. But still you don't see any mesh, nice mesh around the crack tip, which should be like, you know, going in a circular path so that you can define the right contours for, for the J integral or any other contour integral values which you want to compute. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is, again, there are some videos which are shown on the top with where we apply different types of partitioning techniques to mesh it around the crack tip and get a kind of a circular mesh. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So what I will do now is, I will just delete the mesh first. So I'll click on this, delete mesh. Yes. And now I'll try to create circular part, circular uh, partition around this area. So again, I can use the same thing. I can, I can create a circle maybe and something like this. And again, these sizes, you can play around with this and see how you can mesh. So now I have done that. And now first thing is I will mesh this part. Okay. So let's look at this. I will say, okay, select by region and mesh by region, sorry. And then I select this. And then you see still it is not as we want. So let's try using some other meshing strategy for this. This I have just created the section here. And this will, I will try to create circular mesh here so that we can define the circular controls or contours around the crack tip. So the best approach in my opinion would be first, let's apply a global, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a seed for the element size. I just use a size of three. And then if I, if you, just to show you, if I use the total mesh of this, then it should look something like this. And you can see, I mean, mesh is okay, but here you don't have those circular things. So now if I go back and I will just select this part where I want circular mesh and I create, let's say I sweep the element things. And then if I try to mesh here, then you see I have a circular mesh, but still it's very coarse. So first thing is I will change the global seat to maybe three or two or whatever. And that's 
will basically change everything also maybe on this edge I can mm, define the element size and I can instead of saying uh, one I'll use 0.5 or something to give it a more perfect round feature and also it takes the same as on this side as well but uh, let's see how it looks so when we do it so you see we have a nice circular mesh around the crack tape and then we can define the crack tape and the contour as I have done in my other video which is shown on the top and you can do measure you can estimate whatever contour integrals you really want so I hope this is okay to do and I hope you will find this useful so thank you very much for watching if you have any further questions you can again get back to me again the size of elements and everything is your own uh, responsibility in a way because like as a FEA engineer or FEA analyst you basically have to decide all these sizes and do some mesh convergence to see if you are getting the right values also the number of contours you define are again dependent on the plasticity and you know if it's a small scale yielding or large scale yielding then you have to have need more contours until you get a convergence in J values so again I have discussed all those in the other videos so have a look at that thank you very much and I hope you will have you will find it useful bye for now